The Alberta oil sands, one of the largest hydrocarbon resources in the world. Tailings ponds are formed from surface mining operations. One barrel of bitumen produces 1.5 barrels of mature fine tailings. Managing these tailings ponds is one of the biggest challenges in oil sands mining. Alberta Innovates Energy and Environment Solutions is developing solutions to reclaim tailings ponds faster. What's different about oil sand tailings is that in processing them in a water-based extraction process, you, you generate a large volume of what we refer to as fluid fine tailings. There's a lot of this MFT material and it doesn't want to consolidate anymore and it's of course toxic. It can take decades to even possibly centuries, we don't know yet, for it to consolidate to the point where you could walk on it or drive a truck on it or something. So it's clear that to achieve progressive reclamation of this stuff, we're going to have to intervene some way with some sort of technology development to get it to settle and consolidate faster. In 2012, Alberta Innovates Energy and Environment Solutions released the Tailings Technology Deployment Roadmap and Action Plan. The study was really targeted at, look out there, look around the globe. What ideas are there out there? What technologies are out there that we could potentially utilize in managing oil sand tailings? You need to take ideas and technologies that are utilized elsewhere and inevitably you have to adapt them either because of the unique characteristics of the oil sands, the, the cold climate in, in northern Alberta, the scale of the operations. Inevitably, you can't just simply take something off the shelf and make it work. You've got to, got to do something to adapt it to the unique requirements of the oil sands. That's where the alternative or next generation technologies come into play. And that's where Alberta Innovates Energy Environment Solutions is very much involved. We're helping both the companies and technology developers move forward these next generation technologies. Some examples are the alternative thin lift drying processes, inline dewatering so you don't create tailings in the first place, bitumen recovery of course from the tailings, and some sort of out of the box stuff like electrokinetic dewatering where you're actually using electricity to move the water out of the tailings. Right now there's two commercial technologies that are in use. One is being used by Suncor, and that's their tailings reduction operation. And the other one is being used by Syncrude, and that's their consolidated tailings operations. Getting people to work together in the, in the oil business, that's not something that they grow up learning to do. But I think the companies themselves have recognized that there's a lot of incentive and advantages to working together. It's critical that the Alberta government be there through organizations like Alberta Innovates Energy Environment Solutions because ultimately we have to issue a reclamation certificate to these guys so they can return the land back to the province, becomes crown land again, and we want to make sure that what they're delivering back to us is going to be okay. You know, we do have this very valuable resource located in, in northern Alberta and obviously to the benefit of the people of Alberta we want to try and develop this in a very responsible way.